Hello out there. So, unfortunately, I was going to uh, keep working on my Exo Squad stuff, and this happened. Fortunately, we've got a tiny little piece of plastic on these tiny little pins that holds it together, and mine just snapped. It's been wiggly, and it just gave out. So, even though this is absolutely my favorite of the mechs, I can't really do it justice because it's, I mean, it's broken. It kind of loses the spirit. Um, so I'll do two things. The first is I'm just going to quickly show you why I like this one so much. And yes, it's got cool weapons. I think it looks great. Overall, it's got some, you know, aggressive stickering going on. Nice radar gimmick. Mainly, I love these missile pods. Check this out. So you open these up, and just like an old you know, Battletech, Macross, Robotech, whatever you want to call it, it has missile spam going on. This one is, of course, a actual missile that you flick fire, but then it's got these stickers in here, and, you know, whatever this is supposed to be, but, oh man, it's just super cool, and I love the way that the cockpit is, it's, man, this is the best, I can't believe it broke, I'm gonna have to buy another one. Um, Get the radar out of the way. You can see on the inside. You know, again, it's got his name on it. Some stickering detail. Lots of stickering detail actually on this one. Ah, just I love the colors. I love the shape. It's so cool, but it broke. So there's that. At least we got kind of a look at it. And instead, we're gonna take a look at this little dude. So this is Raymond Longfeather. Uh, and let's not kid ourselves, what this really is, is a Ace McCloud. I mean, come on, look at how much he looks like it. I love it, so Centurion. It's not dead on, but they had to have been thinking that, right? Anyway, he's got these ridiculous jet boots that used to fire uh, discs. He's got his wing pack, which flips up so he can fly around, and also so that he's never uh, very stable. Hence the giant boots. He's got a laser blaster, and then he's supposed to have a couple of things that tab on here, but uh, yeah, I lost them. What are you gonna do? And that's about it. He flies around. He like drops uh, drops bombs on the enemy. That's kind of his his thing. He he's listed some places as a jump troop, but uh, ultimately. You know, he's a standard figure with these accessories, and you can plop these on just about anybody else in the line. If we uh, strip him down here, we can take a look at him. Boots pop off like so. Gun, of course, is easy. He does have a uh, helmet attachment point and then a clip. So that's very similar to the uh, normal sized E-frames. Pop his helmet off. Take off his uh, shoulder pads. And then he's got a Masters of the Universe style belt that comes off. So all of this is the ultralight E-frame. And then you're left with this dude. He's got a molded in pistol. He's got a pretty radical haircut there. Um, he does have a port in the back of his head. You just can't see it because it blends in with the hair. And sort of some strange blue silver camo, I guess. I don't know. But he's got all the articulation of the normal Exo Squad uh, figures. And he stands pretty well. Not too bad. So, yeah, that's about it. There's not much to this guy. And, uh, you know, really, if you're not into Centurions, I don't know how much all of this is worth it to you. But if you are into Centurions, he makes a pretty good 124 scale Centurion uh, stand-in. So, I dig him. Anyway, other than that, let me just show you the scariest mask in Exo Squad. Pretty horrifying. Totally forgot about this guy until I was digging through the box. Anyway, 
Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Until next time.